not a frozen dinner, but a fresh microwavable meal straight out of the refrigerator. I'm not sure about this one. My name is Vanessa and today I am sharing my review of Freshly. So this was definitely something that I wanted to give a try. Um, definitely a convenience factor, factor for this one. You just get it in the mail, put it right into your refrigerator and when you are ready to eat, you microwave it and it is set to go. Two minutes, 30 seconds, three minutes for just a couple of them, but not long at all. And you've got a quick go-to lunch or dinner for yourself, members of your family, all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys their website and share all of their different options and their pricing. Okay, so here is their website and I will have what I paid for my six meals in the description box. And if I have any code or I can find one, I will have that down below as well in case you guys want to check it out. But here is how it works. You choose your meals, it says they have over 30. They cook it and deliver it fresh and then ready to eat in three minutes. All you have to do is heat it up. There is no chopping, no prepping, nothing other than taking out of your refrigerator and putting in the microwave. Um, and then it is super easy to skip a week or cancel. So I am gonna go ahead and click on their menu and show you guys what is available the week of May 26. Now these are single serving meals. So you pick them and it is not for your whole family. It is a one off. It comes in. You guys will see when I get my box, I'm going to share it with you guys, but each individual is one serving in a box um, or a package. So they've got some chicken parm, steak, pesto turkey meatballs. You guys, I tried this one and you're going to see it. This was my absolute favorite. I loved it a lot and I am going to try to put this on the meal plan in the future and make it on my own. We've got some home style chicken with a butternut mac and cheese and some green beans there. But look at all of these meals. They look so good on a plate like this. <laughs> Low country broil or boil, we got that one in as well. You'll see that. Who's got some spaghetti squash and meatballs. All sorts of different options here. Um, also, they do have vegetarian. I picked a couple for my oldest daughter. You will see that also. Uh, this one says top rated veggie baked penne with sauteed zucchini and spinach but lots of different varieties different meats again vegetarian this one says new aloha chicken so there is their meals and then let me click on plans and see what it shows you here okay so our plans you can get four meals a week at 12.50 a meal which is 50 bucks um, free shipping or it looks like the more you order the cheaper it ends up being um, per meal that is so six meals per week this is the one that I did this fed us for two lunches um, for my oldest daughter my husband and I so we each had three meals a day um, and just for two days so we paid $9.99 a meal um, and I don't know if I used a code or not so I will have that link down below if I did but Right here, it is showing $59.99 for the week for the six meals. Again, free shipping on all of them. And it looks like the cheapest you can get it per meal is if you sign up for 12 meals in one week. And that makes it $107.99 or $8.99 a meal again with the free shipping. So those are all of their options. Now I'm gonna go into when I got my box delivered, what it looked like, and then prepping or microwaving really each of the meals and telling you guys our thoughts on them. Okay, Freshly is here, and this one is a little different. Instead of it feeding all of us, it's gonna work out a little differently. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you guys what is in the box. So right on top, it shows the entrees that are in here. So I've got six different ones in here, and we are planning to use these for lunches. I do have a couple veggie style for my oldest daughter. So it's got the nice soft padding. And here's the ice pack. Oh, reuse me, store in your freezer as an ice pack. That's awesome, none of the other ones have said that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out and show you guys what they look like. 
All right, so you guys can see it is very different. So this type of box is not necessarily something that you have to prep and do a lot of cooking for. This is definitely more for if you need to save time. If you are just having an extremely busy week or if you are living on your own and just don't have a lot of time to cook nor like to cook, I felt like I wanted to share this as an option. And for lunchtime, even though I am a stay-at-home mom, I do um, get really busy during the day and I don't want to necessarily have to cook something all the time. So I just wanted to try this out as a neat different option. So there are six different ones here for two days of lunches for my daughter who is homeschooled, myself and my husband um, because he works from home for the most part, about 75% of the time. And then I am a work from home mom. So I wanted to share this with you guys. I did get two vegetarian options for my daughter. She does not eat meat. So she is going to be trying the veggie tikka masala and then the Korean style veggie. I always say this wrong, like bibimbap. Is that right? I have no idea, but she's going to be trying these two. And then these are the four that my husband and I will pick from. We'll each have two. So I've got a low country boil, a chicken tikka masala, pesto turkey meatballs, and a country chicken and mash bowl. And then I am going to go ahead. I'll show you guys what they all look like heated up, but you really just stick it in the microwave. So let me see if I can get this to focus. So this is basically on the back of all of them. It gives you microwave instructions. So once we eat these and microwave them, I will show you guys what they look like. Okay, first freshly meal. My oldest daughter Paige is actually going to try. So she's gonna do this Korean style veggie dish. It is vegetarian, she does not eat meat. So I'm going to take this out <laughs> with one hand since I'm holding the camera. All right, here is what it looks like. Now these are all in the refrigerator. These are not frozen meals. They come fresh, you put them in the refrigerator and then you just heat them up in the microwave. So here is the container and I will show you on the back and there's the heating instructions. So we're gonna get this in the microwave. It says two and a half minutes and then let rest for two minutes and then eat away. And then I will let you guys know what she thinks of this. Okay, fresh out of the microwave. I figured I would show you guys what it looks like before she starts digging in, as well as the nutrition facts. All right, here's the nutrition facts. I didn't wanna focus for a second there, but there you go if you guys wanna see that. And then here are the ingredients in them. Well, in this one at least. Empty plate or a dish is a good sign, right? Okay, Paige said she definitely liked it. And if I bought the same exact one again, she would eat it. So she's giving it a thumbs up. Okay, it is lunchtime and my husband Mark is going to try this one out, the Low Country Boil. So this one is basically shrimp, corn, sausage. It looks really good. He's gonna have to give me a bite, but let's see here. See if it focuses enough for you to see the nutrition facts. Again, this is a microwavable dish. Let me show you what it looks like. One thing I am noticing is they're not, you know, that appetizing looking, <laughs> all of them. The rest of them you guys are gonna see. Some of them they're like, whoa, but hopefully they taste good. This is gonna be the first one that he tries. So you can see there's potatoes, Ooh, that glare of the light. There's shrimp, a sausage, green beans, and corn. And I think it has some kind of Cajun seasoning on it, maybe. When I think of country boil, we typically use some kind of spicy seasoning. So I'm gonna go ahead and microwave this for two minutes and 30 seconds. I am gonna have to pull up the side here. This plastic on the top here is no joke. There we go, so we're gonna vent it microwave it for two minutes and 30 seconds, and then I will show you guys what it looks like, and after he eats it, I'll let you know what he thought of it. So here it is, fresh out of the microwave, and actually I was wrong, earlier I said two minutes and 30 seconds, this one actually said to cook it for three minutes, so an additional 30 seconds is what this one needed. Hopefully it tastes good, because it does smell really good. Okay, you can see that there is a little leftover. 
So he said the sausage, he wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, and then there was way too much seasoning on the corn. Um, the green beans, he said that we, they were good. He was just over it. He took a few bites of the corn and it was just too much for him. Um, and then the potatoes and the shrimp are all gone. He loved those. So this one definitely wouldn't order again, but I think at the end of the day, it depends on how high your spice tolerance is. And his is pretty high. Um, but I, I even took a bite of the corn. I was like, yeah, no, <laughs> you should have known that I am not a high. I don't like a whole, whole ton of spicy, spicy stuff. Um, so I don't think we would order this one again. But this was something that we typically make every summer, some kind of country boil. So it was definitely something that we wanted to try out. All right, so while my husband eats the country boil, I am going to cook this one up, the pesto turkey meatballs. This one sounds really good because I love me some zoodles. And that is what is on the bottom here as the noodles. And zoodles are, if you guys don't know, just zucchini noodles. They are noodles not really noodles, they're zucchini that was shredded to look like noodles. So I am really excited for this. I need to pull this forward so the glare's not so bad on that light. But again, these are just turkey meatballs. So you can see the meatballs here. It's got some pesto, some kind of marinara, and then the zoodles on the bottom there. So let's see the nutrition facts and ingredients in this one. There's the nutrition. There's the ingredients. And then this one is back to two minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a little corner to vent, pop it in the microwave and show you guys what it looks like all cooked. And then after I'm done eating it, I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it. Times like these, I really wish smell -o vision was a thing. So this smells really, really good. I cannot wait to eat it. Hopefully it tastes just as good as it smells. Okay, I had to double check and make sure that this was just one serving because I am stuffed. I cannot eat any more. I definitely want to, it's really good. I want to try to recreate something like this on my own, just with zoodles, turkey meatballs, pesto, and some kind of fresher take on a marinara sauce because this was really good. I loved it all together, but man, my stomach feels like it is about to explode. <laughs> I feel like I left a lot. I mean, I guess it's not that much at the end of the day. It's I cut my meatballs into four pieces, so this isn't even one whole meatball, but oh, so filling, but really, really good. So I would definitely want to try something like this um, homemade at home because this was really, really good. Okay, lunch number two for Paige. She's going to give this veggie tikka masala a try. So let me go ahead and open up so you guys can see what it looks like fresh out of the refrigerator. And then again, all of these are microwavable. So we're going to microwave it. I'll show you what that looks like and then I'll let you guys know what she thought of it. All right, here is what it looks like with the wrapper off and let me tell you. The plastic wrap on this one was a pain. I'm gonna show you guys the nutrition facts and ingredients as well. Okay, so the ingredients are up there in the corner and nutrition facts if you guys want to see exactly what is in this one. All cooked up. Now she's gonna give it a try. All right, two for two. She loved it and said if I ever ordered this one again, she would definitely eat it and you can see here it's all gone, so that's awesome. Okay, lunch today. My husband Mark and I are actually eating together at the same time. So we are having the last two of our Freshly meals. These are right out of the refrigerator. So this one is a country chicken and mash bowl. And let me go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. Looks like sweet potatoes, corn, cheese, chicken in there. And then this one is chicken tikka masala. And since we're both eating at the same time, I think we'll both like have half of this so we can both try them. So we've got some kind of fried rice mixture it looks like in there and then the chicken with the Indian sauces on there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these around so you guys can see the nutrition facts and ingredients if you can read that but this one is two minutes and 30 seconds in the microwave. And here's this one. 
and this one is three minutes in the microwave. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift the top to vent, get these heated up, and I'll show you guys what they look like once they're all cooked, and then our thoughts on them after we eat them. Okay, they are all heated up and we are ready to eat them. This one definitely smells better. I mean, they both smell good, but I'm definitely, based off of smell, more excited of this one. And I have never had, when I think of like country chicken and mash, I love the chicken, the mashed potatoes, the corn, and the gravy. I have never had sweet potatoes mixed in with something like this before. So I'm excited to taste that and see if I like it. And we have had this sort of thing before, so I'm really excited and hopefully it tastes really good. But now we are going to eat our lunch. Um, like I said, we are gonna share it, so we're each gonna have a little bit, half of each of these, and let you guys know what we thought. All right, we ate it up. Definitely liked the country chicken and mash bowl. Um, I just couldn't even get over the smell. It tasted exactly how it smelled. And I wanna try the sweet potatoes in something like this again, because that was an extra little added bonus. Um, and then this tasted pretty much exactly how I thought it was gonna taste. Nothing super special, um, but we still love the Indian flavors and rice and all that good stuff. So that was good. But these are the last two of the freshly meals that we had to try. Okay, so we have tried all the meals and my overall thought is, just for me personally, I don't see myself ever ordering from Freshly again. Um, it did give me some ideas for meals to start putting back into the rotation and new meals to try. I love Zoodles and having it with the pesto mixed with the marinara. I have not done that before. That was really good with the turkey meatball. So that's definitely something that I want to put on my rotation as a dinner and try that out and have the kids try it. Um, but as far as just getting a meal for the microwave, just because I'm a stay at home mom, I work from home, I'm here, I'm not, that that busy to where I feel like I would need to pay for that kind of convenience um, just because I don't feel like it was as fresh as you would think it would be being freshly if that makes sense um, it kind of just reminds me of a frozen dinner and the meat wasn't amazing or anything like that um, yeah, so my overall opinion for Freshly is just, it's okay. Um, I felt like some of the meals were better than others, and if you were just needing that to have a nice, all-together meal ready for you, whether it is for lunch or for dinner based off of your schedule, Freshly is, is, a, is an amazing um, option for you, just for myself, no. Now, what I would use Freshly, though, for is my oldest daughter, since she is not eating meat, and she doesn't, she eats, you know, several different things than what I cook for dinner. Um, sometimes she just has sides or I'll make sure she has something vegetarian that she can make as well. This would be an awesome option for her, especially for lunches when I'm out and about or I'm doing something and I'm not necessarily stopping and cooking something. This is something that she could just pull out of the refrigerator, heat up on her own and eat it. She loved the two dishes that she tried. So I could definitely see us using Freshly again for her. But as far as for me, for my husband, the rest of my kiddos, no, Freshly is just not going to work for us in our time of life and our needs right now. But I definitely wanted to share that with you guys because this was kind of different as an option. Um, so if you guys liked this video and my review, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. And I did want to point out that this video is going out on Monday and I am going to be going live here on this channel tonight when you guys are seeing this at 8.30 p.m. at Central Standard Time. So if you guys have a free hour, hour and a half to come chat, that would be awesome. If you guys have any questions, I am here um, as open as a book as I can be on certain subjects. So I would love to chat with you guys and hang out tonight. So hopefully I will see you then. Otherwise, I will see you guys on Wednesday with another video. Bye.